30 Amazing Facts About Post Malone Love him or hate him, you probably know who Post Malone is. This artist started at a young age and hasn't stopped since. Where did Post Malone start his success? How did he get his stage name? What was his first tattoo? Find out here with these top 30 Post Malone facts you should know. Number 1. Post Malone's real name is Austin Richard Post. He is 24 years old and was born on 4 July, 1995. Number 2. He was born in Syracuse, New York and was raised by his father and stepmother until he was 9 years old. From then, they all moved to Texas for his dad's job. Number 3. Post credits his father for introducing him to diverse genres of music such as hip-hop, country, and rock. Number 4. Post's interest in guitar stemmed from the video game, Guitar Hero. He went on to teach himself by YouTube videos. Number 5. In 2010, Austin auditioned to be the guitarist for a band called, Crown the Empire, but his guitar strings broke during the audition and he didn't make the cut. Number 6. When Post was around 15, he decided he wanted a stage name so he used a rap name generator and ended up with, Malone. Number 7. When Post Malone was a senior in high school, his classmates voted him, most likely to become famous. Number 8. Post Malone has a collection of loafers. When he was a teenager working at a Chicken Express restaurant, he saved up his money and bought a pair of Versace loafers for $800. Number 9. At just age 16, Post used Audacity, a free audio editor, to make his first mixtape called, Young and After Them Riches. Number 10, Post has always written his own lyrics, but he calls his first mixtape awful. Number 11, Malone enrolled in Tarrant County College, but dropped out after three months to pursue music. Number 12, after Post left college, he took the leap and moved to Los Angeles, California with his friend Jason Propst who was a professional game streamer. Number 13, Post Malone's first single was called, White Iverson. He recorded the song two days after writing it in 2015, and uploaded to SoundCloud. Number 14, White Iverson, ended up hitting 1 million streams within one month of releasing it. Number 15, this brought in attention from record labels and he signed a record contract in August 2015 with Republic Records. Number 16, in the same month of signing, Post Malone performed at Kylie Jenner's 18th birthday party. It was there he met Kanye West who liked his music, which led them to collaborating on Post's single Fade. Number 17. While others try to classify Post Malone's style, Post himself calls his music, genre-less. Number 18. Post is known for his array of tattoos. His first tattoo was of the Playboy Bunny. Number 19. Interestingly enough, a number of his tattoos he inked himself, and he's also done tattoos on several of his friends. Number 20. In June 2016, Post Malone made his first national television appearance on, Jimmy Kimmel Live, where he performed, Go Flex. Number 21. Post Malone says that Bob Dylan is a huge musical influence to him, and considers him a genius. Number 22. Along with Bob Dylan, Post has portrait tattoos of Elvis, Kurt Cobain, John Lennon, Dimebag Darrell, Stevie Ray Vaughan, George Harrison, and Bankroll Fresh. He got these because they are the people who inspire him most to make music. Number 23. Post Malone is a supporter of the Second Amendment and owns a lot of his own guns. He said he enjoys shooting them to relieve stress. Number 24. In 2019, Post Malone will make his acting debut in Mark Wahlberg's film called, Wonderland, which is based on a 2013 crime novel. Number 25, Post is a big fan of John F. Kennedy because he feels he was the only president to speak out against corruption in the government. He even has a tattoo of him on his arm. Number 26. In September 2018, Post was in a car accident where his Rolls Royce had a collision with another car in Santa Monica around 4 a.m. Fortunately, no one was severely injured. Number 27, Post Malone is a partner with Bud Light. They've given him his own beer fridge that they restock for free. Number 28, 
In 2017, Post Malone spent over $40,000 using Postmates, a food delivery app. Postmates claims he ordered over 660 times in 52 different cities nationwide. Number 29, Post Malone has some Native American ancestry in his background. Number 30, in one interview, Jimmy Fallon had mentioned to Post Malone that he had never been to Olive Garden. Shortly after, Post Malone took Jimmy to Olive Garden to change that. What do you think about these interesting facts? Please tell us in a comment below and share. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more interesting videos. If you like our video, please share it with your friends.